Hi guys. Hi guys. Oh, that was a little. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hi, Hi guys. guys. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Hi, Hi guys. guys! Thanks for joining us for another video. This is our fifth video in our Dirty Dancing series. This will be an instructional video and we're going to go over all the moves in this section and how to execute them. If you want to know the timing and how they line up with the music of the song, check out our musicality video in the same section. If you want to look at any of our earlier videos to get caught up, please check those out as well. Let's get into it. start off, let's just look at the steps and the footwork for the leaders. So we're going to start out from our closed position here, and from here we're going to step forward on our left, forward, back and pivot to our left on our right, and together, step back on our right, pivot towards our left once again on our left foot, and together, and then we're going to step forward on our left, forward, replace our weight onto our right, and then here we're going to kick our left foot out behind us and turn 180 degrees so the left foot lands to the right of us here like that and from here we're going to try and keep our feet planted as we turn our follower to come back in front of us that's how they do it in the choreography if your follower is off balance or whatever and you need to adjust to her as she does her turns definitely do that it's not written in stone but ideally you should be able to remain planted throughout this section and then you bring your follower back in front of you and then we're going to with our right foot rock onto our right foot and back on the left and replace and then rock to our left on our left foot back onto our right and replace and that's the end of this section now let's go over the followers part so we're going to start going back with our right foot replace to the left go right foot forward and then we're going to turn to our left in three steps we're going to go left foot forward right foot side left foot forward here we're going to start going forward with our right foot Replace our weight to the left, right foot diagonally forward. Here we're going to take a prep step with our left foot. We're going to go left foot forward. We're going to turn to our left three times in seven steps. So we're going to start going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here we're going to go to the left with our left foot, side, replace the weight to our right, together, right foot side, replace our weight to the left, and together. All right, now let's go over the lead and follow for this section. We'll talk about all the little signals you're going to give your partner in order to execute these moves. Let's have a look at it. So to start off, the first thing we're going to do as we step forward is we're going to switch our grip from this regular closed position grip with her fingers on top. We're just going to switch so that her fingers are on top and our thumb is resting on top of her fingers. The only reason for this is it just makes it that much easier and quicker to pass our hand as we do the next move. So once again, we're going to step forward and switch our grip. So ladies, we want to just make sure that we're not holding on too tight for him so that he'll be able to switch our grip. Exactly. So we'll do that, switch our grip, and then as we're stepping to the side on our right foot leads, we're going to pass it into our right hand. And then as soon as we bring her across, we're going to turn her away from us. And then as soon as we've done that, we're going to place our left hand on her right shoulder, okay? Then we're going to get ready to take that step forward. But as we do that, we have light pressure on her right shoulder from this hand. And then we're going to be pulling back gently on her right hand with our right hand, okay? We don't want to put her in like a police hold. We're just exerting light pressure so we can prime her for the turn she's about to do. So ladies, we want to make sure that we have tension in our arm so that it doesn't go too far behind us and then also engaging your core so you can allow him to pivot you. All right, so now we're going to take that step forward. So we're going to go forward, exerting that pressure. And then as we step back and do our kick, we're going to throw our right arm out to the side. Okay, and I'll show you what that looks like. Just like this. Okay, and that's important because it's going to give her that room from the side of you to come around you as she does her turns, okay? The more space to the side you give her, the easier it's going to be. If she's too close to her, then she's gotta go all the way around you to do her turns, and that's gonna be tricky. But if we throw her out wide, we give her that space, it's going to make the angle to get in front of us much easier to access. And then we're ready to start our turns. All right, so from this position, ideally we wanna be facing pretty much the same direction 
direction with her to the side and a little bit behind us, keeping in mind that her path is to do three turns and end up right in front of us. Our goal is to lead this in such a way that we don't even have to move our feet, but keeping in mind we'll adjust if we need to, okay? So what's going to happen is we're going to pull our arm towards us, kind of like, think you're, like you're starting a lawnmower, but you're also going to raise up so that she can turn underneath. So you're gonna pull towards you and go up and do the turns, okay? Exactly like that. Now, if we go back, what we're going to do during these turns as the lead is we're going to look at her right shoulder, okay? The second time her right shoulder comes near to us, we're gonna put our right hand on it. I'll show you what I mean by that in just a second. So we're gonna pull her towards us. This is the first time her right shoulder is near to us. Turn her around. This is the second time. On the second time we see her right shoulder, we're gonna put our hand on it. And then she's going to keep turning. And ladies, we want to make sure that we are ducking here so that we can go under his head. Exactly. So once we put our hand on her right shoulder, we want to have her elbow nice and high and we want to make sure that she's close enough to us that she can actually get her head under our elbow. If we're too far away, there's no way she's going to get her head under there. So we want to make sure the spacing is good. Again, this is the time if you have to adjust, then you're going to need to with your feet and compromise your footwork. That's fine, just as long as you can get the move pulled up. So we're going to bring our elbow nice and high, and then as soon as she turns, then we're going to just drape our arm down along to her waist as she comes along in front of us. All right, now let's take a look at the connection and the styling for this section. And ladies, we can bring our left hand out here and make it parallel with the floor. And then after that, we're gonna make sure to bring our left hand in close to our stomach so that we don't hit him with our turns. And then leads, once we bring our hand off of the follower's shoulder, we're going to bring it to a similar position, palm down towards the floor, just parallel with the floor as we style. So we'll show you what that looks like. We step forward and bring the hand off. Do the turns. And then just bring the hand back to the father's waist. Ladies, we're going to bring our hands up in a rounded motion here. And we're going to go to our left first. And as we do that, we're going to bring our head with us. We're going to go left, right, left. As we step to the right, we're going to go right, left, right with our head. Thanks for joining us guys, we hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss out on more content by Green Bay Barn. If you want to check out how any of these moves line up with the timing of the song, check out our musicality video in the same section. Otherwise, feel free to look at any of our earlier videos to get all caught up until now. Hope to see you there. Bye. Bye.